Hey, it's Tyler from Active Beat. Life can get busy, can't it? And when you've got a lot on your mind, it's hard to keep track of the simple things, especially when it comes to your health. That's why we want to break it down bit by bit and talk about the little things that slip by sometimes. Today, it's vitamin E. Let's get into it. Vitamin E belongs to the fat-soluble family of vitamins, so let's do a quick refresher on what that means. Fat-soluble vitamins include vitamins A, K, D, and E. When it comes to these vitamins, you don't need a ton of them to keep healthy. And in fact, your body is going to store excess fat-soluble vitamins in, well, your fat tissue and your liver. So let's talk specifics about vitamin E. Vitamin E is known as a tocopherol, and it's pretty cool because it acts as an antioxidant to protect red blood cells, essential fatty acids, and even vitamins A and C from getting destroyed. How you can get vitamin E? When it comes to getting the vitamin E you need, there are several food sources that'll do the trick. Plenty of fruits and vegetables, grains and nuts like almonds or hazelnuts are a good source of vitamin E. Toasted almonds are one of the best sources of vitamin E, where about one quarter cup is going to give you 18 milligrams of vitamin E. So how much do you really need? Well, vitamin E intake is expressed in milligrams, and for the most part, the recommended dietary allowance is 15 milligrams per day for people over the age of 14. So that's vitamin E. Thanks for watching. Add your thoughts in the comments if you get a chance, and don't forget to subscribe and share. Until next time.